Hi and welcome to Talkin' Tech, I'm your host Alejandro Rogers and today we're here at ITT 2025 in Phoenix, Arizona in which we're taking a close look at uh, Panther Lake's architecture which is just going to be coming out and we're actually going to be able to see demos on actual devices in Panther Lake and today with us we have Jason. Hey Jason, how's it going? Hey Alex, good to see you. Good to see you too man, I can see we have video games! Yeah! Yes, finally, talking about video games. This is awesome. All right, so what do I have here? Sorry, so yeah, excited. So we love graphics and we love gaming here, of course. Um, what this, this game that's being played right here right now is uh, running all on our new Panther Lake platform. This game called Painkiller. It's uh, releasing on Steam around October 21st. Uh, again, all in device on an integrated graphics. So this is all just integrated graphics and the latest one that just came out, so the XE3, right, uh, architecture. That's absolutely correct. Uh, new with XE3, we've introduced, um, of course, a lot of a graphics architecture improvements, optimizations for better efficiency, and we've also jammed in 50% more cores in there, for obvious reason, for that performance that uh, the gamers really need. So you have a bigger GPU with more cores in there, and you also have a bunch of new technologies, actually, that allows to play this a little bit more, more smoother. Absolutely. So the, the one that we have here, the one that's smoother, is so it's XESS, you said it was a whole multi-frame generation? That's correct, that's correct. So with uh, XESS, as you've heard before, uh, we've always in we've introduced a super sampling or super resolution. Um, and then we've also introduced uh, load and latency modes as well as frame generation. But new with the Panther Lake and XE3 is we're introducing multi-frame generation, MFG for short, right? So now we're you're harnessing the power of more AI uh, on these graphics architecture, and we're actually able to generate and interpolate more frames, uh, the three frames for MFG, um, compared to the one rasterized, rasterized frame. So where we're talking, you know, we're talking three to four times more frames that the user will be able to see, uh, especially for a game like Painkiller right here. Uh, it's a you know, very high-paced, uh, high fast-action game, you know, as you're going through, shooting through these zombies and hordes of mythical creatures, right? So you really need those frames. Right to move around. No, that's awesome. Jason, thank you so much. Appreciate it. This looks great and I can't wait to actually have a Pantelic system to actually play all these AAA games and, and have an amazing time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.